Well, we come to the penultimate event of this second day and of these, the fifth edition of these world relays, the women's 4x400 meters relay. The Netherlands go out in lane nine. What a strong squad they've got. They are the European indoor champions just from just a few weeks ago in Torun, here in Poland, Germany, the same team in the same order as in qualifying yesterday. Nadina Gonska will take the baton out of the blocks for them. Belgium, third best in qualifying. They go in lane seven. No Bolingo in this squad. She did the first leg for them yesterday in their heats. So uh, Kalkite will be the lead off athlete for the Belgians. Poland, well, they were the champions or the winners two years ago, beating the USA, and they were the second best in heats. And they do have a very strong squad indeed. Great Britain, likewise, sixth in 2019. No Zoe Clark in this quartet we've seen a race already but they do have a strong four cuba the fastest in qualifying the same team in the same order they set a world lead in their heat 327.9 they go in four the italians taking third place two years ago and what a day they're having the same team as yesterday they were non-automatic qualifiers though only third in the first heat yesterday and France will be in lane two on the inside. A totally different quartet from the French. I think their uh, attitude was that the job was done. They've made this uh, final. They've made the Olympic Games in Tokyo by dint of that alone. And so they've changed the squad to give uh, four more athletes a run out. But the uh, Dutch, well, with Femke Boll on the third leg, the reigning European indoor champion at just the age of 21 a few weeks ago. She ran the fastest leg in the heats yesterday, Boll, 49.81. She looks fired up for this. I know some pundits think she might go low 49s here today. We'll obviously bring you that information. But uh, this promises to be a beaut, doesn't it, Jenny? The Netherlands against Poland, against Great Britain, against Cuba, the fastest in qualifying. It's really really nicely balanced it is and the cubans looked impressive but i've actually been looking down the start list and it looks like the netherlands have really taken this event seriously they had a great quartet yesterday in the mixed event but they look like they're actually really focusing on the men's four by four and the women's four by four as individual events just gender specific events and they've really made sure that their strongest athletes are in both of those quartets so we've got ball we've got de Witt, we've got clever and we've got hondenkamp for the um, Netherlands team and uh, I think them and the Cubans will uh, take it all the way to the line. Um, the Cubans were very impressive yesterday and uh, let's just see what happens. But Femi Ball, she's just been a revelation the last two seasons. She's now in the world top 10 all time over 400 meter hurdles, won that European indoor title and 49.81 seconds yesterday. Um, let's hope the Cubans run them really close to the line and she has to run a low 49 seconds. It'd be great to see. Watch the world number one 400 meter hurdler last year from Kabul. And uh, we know she's special. The British squad, Lavia Nielsen, Ama Pipi, Emily Diamond and Jesse Knight. Slight change in the order there. Cubans, well, can they repeat their form of yesterday? Zurian Hechevaria will uh, send them off. They set the world lead in the heats. We may well see that improved that today, although as I say that, high up here in the stands, the wind has certainly picked up in the last few minutes. I wonder what it's doing down there on the stadium floor. They are pretty sheltered in this wonderful bowl of a stadium, but uh, undoubtedly it will be swirling a little bit. I wonder if it'll be in the favor of the athletes. Well, there's an indication they're pretty sheltered down at track level, it would seem, at one end, maybe not at the other. Will it be a factor? So in lane nine, the Netherlands, Eva Hovenkamp will lead out their squad. She'll hand over to De Witte, Femke Boll on leg three, and Lika Klava on the final leg for them. Germany go in eight, Gonschko on the opening leg for them. Belgium on seven, Pauline Kaukait on the first leg. Then Poland on the inside, the uh, winners two years ago beating the USA. They go in six, Great Britain in five, Lavia Nielsen in very good form recently. Watch her, the Britain in five. Cuba going for Echevarria, the same squad in the same order as were fastest in the heats. Then Italy going three. They were third two years ago. And France go in lane two with a totally different squad. Of course, running on fresh legs, that French quartet. Italy and Poland 
were third and first two years ago, respectively. Great Britain only sixth two years ago in Yokohama. But uh, looking at their lineup and the experience in it, one would uh, expect them to go maybe a place or two better than that at least. So the women's 4x400 four four meters relay, the final event for the women of the weekend. France in two, Italy three, Cuba four, Great Britain five, Poland six, Belgium seven, Germany eight, and the Netherlands, watch them on the outside in lane nine. An extraordinarily long delay again for the athletes there in their blocks, but uh, away they go. And it has ensured, I suppose, to be fair, not one single full start all weekend. Jenny will accuse me of uh, taking a chance for the athletes again, but it's all going very smoothly at the moment. Going well out in lane seven is Belgium. Pauline Kuyker, who ran 52-1. On the second leg yesterday for Belgium has had a storm ahead. She's gone past Gonska of Germany. And indeed, Hovenkamp for the Netherlands is leaving them with a little bit of work to do from here on. She only ran 53.5 yesterday, Hovenkamp for the Netherlands, nearest the camera. She's finishing strongly, but look at this. Almost side by side, these five teams down the home straight in lanes uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Yeah, it's always difficult to tell at this stage who's actually ahead. I'd say it was Poland from Great Britain, from the Netherlands, as all the second leg runners head off. This is Amma Pippi now from Great Britain. She's a really experienced athlete over the last few years. Studied in America, they run a lot of relays over there. And the Polish athlete as well. This is Holub Kolik. She's really experienced, plenty of medals, world, European and Olympic relay medals. She's followed in third place there by the Cuban, Almanza, better known over 800 metres. But as it stands, it's Great Britain with Pippi, Poland, Cuba, Germany is still there. On the outside, Italy coming through. Well, the world lead marker is right up alongside the British athlete Pippi. Brilliant leg from Nielsen to open the British account. Pippi, who ran the first leg yesterday, is going strongly here. We'll hand over with a couple of metres lead ahead of the Poles and Cuba in third place. Italy moving into fourth, Germany in fifth, the Netherlands in sixth. They've got a lot of work to do at the moment at the halfway stage. But Great Britain here, well, he might as well be out in front. Let the others chase you. They've got to run wide around the bends and plenty of experience in those legs of Emily Diamond. She ran the uh, mixed 4x4 four four yesterday, ran a superb leg, Diamond. 51-86 was her split. Moving well at the moment. The Poles in second looking dangerous and then the Netherlands beginning to close up in fourth. This is what we expected, didn't we? Femi Ball. And if you look at the caption just over on the left-hand side of the screen, this is meters that every team are behind the leader. And it still is Great Britain holding on. And here comes the Cuban athlete and Femi Ball all the way to the line as they hand over to the last leg runner. All three athletes set off at the same time. Jesse Knight for Great Britain just holds the inside there. Fabulous closing from Femke Ball there as uh, Emily Diamond just struggled through the last 30 or 40 metres. But Britain lead from the Netherlands. The powerfully built Lika Klava, who ran in the mix 4x4 four four yesterday with 51-6 on her shoulder. She's dwarfing the little Britain. Going well in third place is still Cuba, nipping at the heels of the leading pair. That's Roxana Gomez for Cuba. She ran 50.9 yesterday on the anchor leg. Can she get past the Brits and the Dutch here? Into the home straight, 100 metres to run. Great Britain leading, there's nothing in it. And look at the Cubans. Roxana Gomez storms away here. Coming through strongly the Poles too. What a final leg from Natalia Katzmarek. It's going to be Cuba, Poland and Great Britain take third. And the Dutch came unstuck there down the home straight, finishing in fourth place, out of the rostrum positions. But what a run there. A historic run from Roxana Gomez. I'm dying to see her split. They were fastest in qualifying and critically fastest today when it matters more. The winners are Cuba. Their time, 3.28.41. Not quite as quick as yesterday, but that doesn't matter. Fabulous final leg from Gomez. 
It's very hard to watch these scenes and not even get emotional. Hevera, the tears in her eyes there that they've actually took the victory in this one. And Gomez was impressive, not only on that leg, but she's not even breathing. She looks like she could have, you know, carried on for another few meters for sure. She wasn't stretching all the way to that line. And uh, we can see what this means to all the athletes. This will be a significant victory for them on the road to Tokyo and their preparations. Well, there's a team to look out for. The story will be told in full when we get to see the splits from the various athletes. Femke Bol certainly bringing the Dutch back into contention. Lika Klava quite, couldn't quite finish it off for them on that final leg. They were fourth fastest in the heats and fourth today in the final, the Dutch. But Cuba are the winners from Poland, from Great Britain. The French, well, we knew they'd put out a team that was not their absolute best. They finished down in eighth place, just uh, behind Belgium. I'm just looking at Laos there. She's had a busy weekend, doesn't she? She went in the heat and the final of both the mixed and the four by four women's races. I think she's uh, made her way round this track four times this weekend. And the Polish, the Polish um, always produce the goods, don't they? A lot of the athletes on that Polish team were not the names that we're used to. They're not the household names, but they did great. And of course, Great Britain, they've won medal over the last few years. Well, here's the second changeover. Great Britain in the lead at this point. With uh, Emily Diamond going out on the third leg with a good lead ahead of Poland and the rest. But uh, Diamond there just being passed by Cuba and the Netherlands and at this point well the Netherlands in second place although certainly uh, Jesse Knight on the final leg the anchor leg for Great Britain did really well told that inside line she couldn't resist uh, Gomez though he set the world lead in the heats and that remains the world lead for Cuba they take the win. They are delighted. $40,000 to be shared between that uh, Cuban quartet for first place, 20000 for second, and 10000 for the British quartet in third place. Prize money, by the way, goes right down to include eighth place. But you can see what it means to the Cubans. I don't suppose the money's in their minds right now, Jenny. At the end of your career, it's the medals the titles the championships you win and the victories that really matter and this is a major victory for the cuban squad uh, in an olympic season everything carries a little bit more significance doesn't it? it has a sort of golden lining it does and these are the events that you train for you know on those cold winter evenings this is what it's all about you're you know don't often dream about being finishing on the top you are just concentrating on what it's going to take to get you there but these are the moments that you have to enjoy in your athletic career and we can just see great scenes there of the Polish athletes they just keep producing these athletes year on year on year and as soon as you see that Poland are in any event you know that they're gonna have a strong squad and it's great that some of the young end well Poland were the champions two years ago they settled for second today they are so so consistent with buttons in their hand but Cuba are the winners today in the women's four by 400 meters really 328.41 winning by three or four meters after a stunning astonishing